So guys, I want to talk about the month of Mythic. The second week is here, and obviously the first week did not go well. For a disgustingly overpriced $10, you could purchase yourself a Prophet's Bane certification and 12 Prophet's Banes. And if you go ahead and uh, buy the pack again, that's just 12 more Prophet's Banes. I've seen people spend so much money on this pack, and now they've got just a fat stack of Prophet's Banes that they can use in Warzone whenever they want and i've seen like lots of different arguments some people defend that like no 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 it's balanced because if you get a hundred thousand rec points then you can buy a pack of your own well here's my defense at least for this all right i hear i hear what you're saying but here is my rebuttal to it so a hundred thousand rec points that is going to be a few warzone games a few hours of gameplay grinding and then you'll finally be, be able to buy the pack but people with wallets and credit cards instantly without even playing a match they can get themselves 10 copies of that pack instantly 10 of them without even playing and that's the issue with this all right it's not balanced it's broken on paper it is inherently broken some people if they want to can purchase these packs in bulks without even playing the game while other people if they want to earn the pack they better start grinding and they better start grinding hard because the pack is purposefully overpriced to make you look at that ten dollar price tag and think you know maybe uh you know grinding is pretty repetitive but just ten dollars for a profit's bane that's actually not that bad you know it's there to make to discourage you from playing the game funny enough the rec pack like the fact that you can use rec points on it is actually there to discourage you and encourage you to just spend money because the rec point price tag is so absurdly high and one of the other things that i find quite disgusting about it is that it's pretty much a slap in the face to all the people who worked so damn hard to earn that prophet's bane pack i remember when i first got my certification for the prophet's bane i was like oh my god oh my god days of game time have finally led to this moment holy crap i finally have the prophet's bane well now thanks to the myth the uh, month of mythic the prophet's bane isn't that special anyone can buy them and now here we are actually the second week the tartarus's gavel is up for sale ten dollars for a tartarus's gavel i remember when i first got that wreck pack i was excited i was like finally <laughs> uh but now it's not that special tartarus's gavels i see everywhere i mean hell i haven't been on warzone of course um the first week of the month of mythic i tested out warzone and sure enough there were prophet spains everywhere and i couldn't finish a warzone match without being stabbed by an invisible assassin and now when i try to play warzone i see tartarus's gavels everywhere and the thing is those are ranged melee weapons you can hurl a ball of gravity at someone and it'll just suck them in and kill them so that's pretty irritating when you're fighting against a foe that you can't really defend yourself from and to be fair it's not exactly pay to win you know like it all depends on your skill level but but the issue is that they're still annoying to deal with and the thing is well some people aren't gonna buy these packs and they're not gonna do so hot because they're not very talented there are some people who will buy these packs and do incredible you know the argument that like it's not pay to win because if you get one and then die instantly oh you didn't win for paying okay i hear you but that doesn't excuse the good players who have bought it and the thing about it is just ignoring this pack doesn't excuse that it negatively impacts my experience in warzone i can completely avoid this month of mythic doesn't matter i'm going to be negatively affected by it because I am going to be playing with players who have bought one of the best weapons in the game and are killing me repeatedly with it. I'm being negatively affected. Now, another option is to just not play Warzone, which I have done. I haven't played Warzone, minus jumping into a few matches here and there to kind of survey the damage caused by this month of Mythic. And so the outcry has been strong from the community. It is almost universal from channels that praise 343 to channels that hate 343 to channels that just like Halo, it's almost unanimous 
the month of Mythic is bad for Halo 5, very bad. The the community has spoken. In fact, there is a poll on Waypoint that's been kind of uh, gaining notoriety and stuff, and 343 have actually confirmed they are monitoring that poll, and it's almost a universal decree that no, we as the Halo community do not like the month of Mythic. But that doesn't excuse that here we are, week two, and almost immediately after 343 confirms they're monitoring the poll, now we get the Tartarus' gavel, and people are very angry. They feel that our voice is not heard. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit with you guys about my thoughts on it. So here's the problem with the month of Mythic. It has been planned, all right? It's a plan. They're not sitting there thinking, all right, week one, uh, hmm, Prophet Spain, got it, let's go. Yeah, and then week two, they're like, oh man, they, hmm, Prophet's Bane, uh, Tartarus's Gavel, let's go. No, they had, they have all the rec packs planned out for the rest of this month. It's, it's a plan. It's a operation that they've set in motion. And the thing is, one of the sad things is, is 343 is the face of Halo right now. And in a lot of ways, yes, they have screwed up in quite a lot of different areas, but also some of their decisions, sadly, were not there their own. Anything when it comes to microtransactions, marketing, like special events or whatever, that comes from the marketing team, Microsoft, PR departments, and like all sorts of different things. And so sadly, when it comes to something like this, this reeks of Microsoft. Because as a game developer, they could take a look at this month of Mythic and say, oh my god, like this is broken. This is a bad idea. It's going to break the flow of the game. But Microsoft, the corporate suits, are, now listen, I don't no, I am just throwing this speculation out there, all right? But due to the fact that Gears of War 4 also has a suspiciously similar microtransaction system to the rec pack system in Halo 5, it's what makes me believe that yes, this is indeed Microsoft's doing. So the problem right now is that we are crying out. We don't like this at all. And the people at 343 are probably relaying it. Like, guys, we got to stop this this uh, month of Mythic thing. I'm sorry, the community, it's damaging them. They're not happy. But this suit's over at Microsoft. They're like, huh, what, what? You know, they look up from their computer as they're checking their bank accounts going up and up and up. They're like, oh, whatever. It's only a month. It's fine. They'll forget about it. I don't know. Uh, make another uh, DLC that throws in a classic Halo weapon, and they'll forget all about this month of Mythic. Like... Microsoft does not care about you. They do not care about your well-being. Obviously, they'll get concerned if we're really loud and if sales are really low, which is why I'm encouraging people to not give in to the month of Mythic. Do not. In fact, the only reason that I'm playing Halo 5 currently is for PC. I downloaded Forge on PC and I'm really enjoying it. I was having a few issues with the PC version and so I found that I had to download the update for the Xbox One to fix that. But other than that, I have been staying away from Halo 5 on Xbox One because I'm speaking with my wallet as well as, well, my free time. I'm not going to support a game that is currently doing a discussion Disgusting, disgusting thing, in my opinion, for this month of Mythic. So I encourage you guys to stay away from Halo 5 until this month of Mythic thing blows over. Because sadly, well, yes, our cries are being heard. Microsoft isn't really taking them to heart yet. And the thing also is, this month of Mythic, because it's a plan that's already in effect, it's not exactly like they can throw the switch immediately. Microsoft has to talk to investors, the marketing team needs to cool down with some of their planned stuff. Money's gonna go down the drain, because surprisingly enough, some of this stuff from the server side to the marketing costs, it does have like a bit of a price to it. Now, it's not like this disgusting, like millions and millions of dollars just to have like a crappy Photoshop image that's says month of mythic download your ten dollar rec packs here but it's money microsoft doesn't want to lose regardless and so the thing is in order to get them desperate enough to please us that they are willing to throw this stupid month month of mythic in the trash can we need to speak with our wallets and our free time we're not going to play halo 5 as long as you are trying to do this and manipulate us this way so i encourage you guys just keep on doing what you're doing keep on speaking out keep on just staying away from the game no matter how tempting it seems forge on pc if you want play the master chief collection hell i'm 
been playing a lot of the Master Chief Collection. Oh, by the way, people, play the Halo 3 playlist a little bit more on the Master Chief Collection. I want to play Halo 3 again. <laughs> but anyway, guys, those are my thoughts right now. Ultimately, I'm very pleased to see the way that the Halo community is handling this so maturely and responsibly. Keep up the good fight, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.